Have you ever wondered how your garbage disposal disposes of your food? Well, many of us know the routine you take and you dump the food down inside the disposal, you turn the water on, you turn the switch on, the garbage disposal comes on, grinds up the food, and goes down the drain. That's pretty much the way it works. Well, here I have a demonstration here, a little bit for you. We just put the food down here, put the water down here, turn it on. The electric motor in here has got two shafts. The top shaft has a flywheel with cutting blades on it spins around, chops up the food, is forced through, forced through little holes around the side there, and it comes up right here and goes down the drain. And in case you're wondering what this little thing for, it's just an attachment for your dishwasher to get rid of the water too. Now, my favorite way of keeping these disposals clean and smelling sweet is just to take a bunch of ice cubes, put them down inside the disposal, pour a cup of vinegar on top of it, turn the cold water on, turn it on, let it run, and you don't hear the grinding action anymore. And by doing that, you'll be cleaning out the little food particles that, left, that get left behind in the disposal, and your dish or your garbage disposal will end up smelling sweet and clean. Now, remember I said that most disposals have two shafts? Well, here's the reason why. A common problem we come across is people say, I put something too big in, the disposal jam, and I can't get it out. Well, remember, use precaution, make sure the garbage disposal is turned off or unplugged. But after you do that, there's something down in here, we've got to get it out, but it's jammed in here. We can't just stick our hand down and pull it out because it's jammed. Well, if you reach up underneath the disposal, and this one being up, we don't have to do that, but when we lay it down on the side, you see a hole right here, and we have a little wrench, right here, Allen wrench, and what you do is you stick this wrench inside the hole, and it actually locks in the bottom of the motor shaft. And by working this back and forth, you'll break free what was ever in it. Then you can take, and again, remember the power off, reach in there, remove whatever it was, and then turn the disposal back on to test it and make sure that you removed the obstruction. Look for more Frith Quick tips on YouTube.